In this lecture, we are going to discuss about a neutral adoption method. First, we describe the geometrical interpretation of a neutral adoption method, means how we find, then mathematically we derive uh, the iterative scheme of a neutral adoption method, then we solve some numerical example based on a neutral adoption method. So, what is the geometrical interpretation of a neutral adoption method? So, short form of a neutral adoption method is a word, neutral adoption NR method. NR method. Neutral adoption method. So, suppose any function here, suppose this one is a x axis, this one is a y axis, y axis, and this one is a function, this one is a graph of a equation y equal f x. y equal f x. y equal f x. So, so as we know that this one is not a bracketing method, so we choose any value arbitrary. Suppose this one is a x t, we choose the initial value x t, x 0. So, uh, what is the condition with x0? x0 satisfy the criteria of convergence. Later on we discuss about the criteria of a convergence. What is the criteria of a convergence? Means how we choose the value of a x0. So, what is the coordinate of this point? Coordinate of this point become what? x0 f of x0. x0 f of x0. Now, this one is a curve. This one is a function. And this one is a one point. Now we able to draw a tangent. So if we draw a tangent at this point, draw the tangent at this point, and suppose this one is a point of uh, intersection with x-axis. And this point of intersection with x-axis is a what? This point of intersection with x-axis is nothing is uh, first approximate value of a uh, our uh, approximate root. So at this point again, we find the value of the function and write a coordinate of uh, this point. This one is x, f of x1 and again draw the tangent at this point. Draw the tangent at this point. So we find the second approximate root. So this one is your what? This one is our actual root. This one is alpha. Alpha is our actual root. Alpha is our actual and the value of f of alpha obviously equal to c. So, uh, first we find the equation of a tangent, then point of intersection with x axis, this uh, and the value of x is a nothing is the first approximate value, then again we find the point of uh, the value of a function and again draw the tangent at this point and find a point of intersection with x axis, this one is a word, this one is a nothing is second approximate truth. So you may see this one slowly means uh, as we proceed means uh, as the sequence of uh, iteration x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 we proceed uh, up to xn then we approach to our actual alpha where the value of the function equal to 0. Now how mathematically we derive this one? Mathematically how we derive this one? So what is the equation of a tangent? The equation of a tangent is a uh, y minus y 0 dy by dx is a slope slope at x 0 at x 0 y 0 and x minus x 0 and here what is the x 0 x 0 is x 0 and what is the y 0 y 0 is f of x 0 so here we write y minus f of x 0 and dy by dx, dy by dx, y is a fx, then dy by dx is a f dash x. So, this one equal f dash x at x0, y0. So, this one equal what? In place of x, we write what? x0 because dy by dx at x0, y0. Now, this one is a x minus x0. So, now, this one is the equation of a tangent. This one is the equation of a this tangent. This tangent. Now, how we find this point? This one is a point of intersection with x axis. So, what is the equation of x axis? y equal to 0. So, here we put y equal to 0. So, if we put y equal to 0, 
then this will become minus f of x0 equal f dash x0 x minus x0. Now, if we simplify this one, x minus x0 equal minus of f of x0 divided by f dash x0. If we simplify more, then this become x equal but x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash x0 x0 minus f of x0 and this point of intersection this value of x here we denoted this one by the x1 so here we write this one equal what this value of x equal what x1 now in a similar manner if we find the equation of a tangent at x1 y1 x1 f of x1 so here uh, what is the change in this equation in place of a x0 we write a x1 in place of a f of x0 we write a f of x1 then x2 become what x2 become x2 become x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash x1 now in a similar manner xn plus 1 equal xn minus f of xn divided by f dash xn f dash xn this one is a what this one is a iterative scheme this one is a iterative scheme of a this one is a iterative scheme of a this one is a iterative scheme of a Newton Raphson method iterative scheme of a Newton Raphson method xn plus 1 equal xn minus f of xn divided by uh, f dash x so this one is a iterative scheme now how we choose the value of x0 suppose we choose any random value of x0 then what are the possibilities so here graphically we try to examine what are the possibilities if we choose any value randomly we choose the value of x0 suppose the nature of a function is like this one nature of a function this one is the nature of a function is like this one suppose here like this one nature of a function is like this one so suppose first we choose the value uh, here we choose the value of a x0 here we choose the value of x0 initially we choose this value x0 x0 and if we draw the tangent at this point if we draw the tangent at this point then this will intersect this will intersect on x axis at this point this one is the what this one is the first approximate value if we find the value of the function at this point then this become what x1 f of x1 f of x1 about this one like this one so f of x1 so if we draw the tangent here draw the tangent here like this one then this will intersect too far from our actual root where is the actual root actual root is here alpha this one is the actual root so first we choose the x0 then we find the, x, the difference between x1 and alpha is a larger than difference between x0 to alpha this means we move far from the our actual root and the x1 is a goes in a negative side this means we move more far from the our actual root we unable to may, uh, we unable to converse to our actual root now try to think suppose uh, this one is a function like this one this one is a function and here we choose the first approximate value suppose here x0 root is here this one is alpha and here if we try to draw the tangent this one is a what this one is a parallel to x axis 
this one is a parallel to x axis then what will happen we unable to find out a point of intersection with x axis we unable to find out a point of intersection with x axis then what will happen we unable to find out a, our next approximate route so uh, there is a need to uh, very precisely to choose the value of a x0 so how we choose the correct x0 so that the sequence of a iterative values means x0 x1 x2 x3 up to xn plus 1 must be converges to our actual root so what is the iterative scheme of a newton raphson method iterative scheme is a xn plus 1 equal xn minus f of xn divided by f dash xn now as we know that uh, in case of uh, xn plus 1 to phi xn phi xn if this is uh, a iterative scheme general iterative scheme then if mod of uh, phi dash x mod of phi dash x is less than 1 for all x belongs to i i is a class interval in which our approximate real root or exact real root exists or lie so if we compare this iterative scheme with this iterative scheme what is the value of phi x phi x equal x minus f of x divided by f dash x now what is the value of phi dash x phi dash x equal 1 minus this one is a f dash x into f dash x minus f f x f double dash x divided by f dash x ka whole square f dash x ka whole square so if we simplify this one if we simplify this one and write in the form of a mod means a mod of a phi dash x is less than 1 mod of a phi dash x is less than 1 if we simplify this one, x become phi dash x become minus of f of x f double dash x double dash x divided by f dash x ka whole square so what is the condition condition is a mod of a phi dash x phi dash x this to be less than 1 for all values of x belongs to i now we simplify this one then mod of a fx into f double dash x f double dash x must be less than x belongs to i i is a class interval where any approximate root or our actual root exists so this one is about this one is a criteria for convergence criteria for convergence to choose correct initial value this one is a word this one is a criteria for convergence so this one is a criteria for convergence now we try to solve some numerical example based on a newton raphson method so first we solve a an algebraic equation with the help of a newton raphson method so and many more pro, uh, we try to solve many more problems based on a newton raphson method So first we consider suppose f x equal f x equal what f x equal two x cube two x cube minus three x three x plus six. So what is the iterative scheme? So there is a need of a what example based on a what Newton Raphson method? Example based on Newton Raphson method. Newton Raphson method. Method. Newton Raphson method. So there is a need to find out the value of f dash x. F dash x is about six x square minus three. And 
what is the value of f double dash x? f double dash x is about 12 x. 12 x. So this one is the value of f x, f dash x, and f double dash x. Now, what is the iterative scheme? Iterative scheme become x n plus one equal x n minus f of x n divided by f dash x n. F dash x n. Now, what is the x n here? F of x n. So if we write here x n plus 1 equal x n minus f of x n is a what? 2 time of a here we put in place of a x n we write x n 2 x n cube minus 3 x n plus 6 divided by f dash x n means 6 x n in place of x here we write x n 6 x n square minus 3 so if we simplify this one, this one become what? If we multiply this one 6 n cube, 6 x n cube, this one minus 3 x n, this minus become minus 2 x n cube plus 3 x n, 3 x n minus 6 divided by what? Divided by 6 x n square minus 3. 6xn square minus 3. This one is xn plus 1. xn plus 1. Now, if uh, we simplify this one, now iterative scheme for this problem become what? xn plus 1 equal 6xn cube minus 2xn cube. This become 4xn cube. 4xn cube minus 3 xn plus 3 xn cancel out this one minus 6 divided by 6 xn square 6 xn square minus 3 6 xn square minus 3 so this one is a iterative scheme of for this problem now how we choose the value of x0 question is how we choose the value of a x0 which satisfy the criteria for conversion so, if we, uh, for this one, we try to find out the one interval where one, at least one, there is a three real root. So, at least one real root lie between that interval. So, suppose at x equal to 0, x equal to 0, what is the value of this one? f of 0 equal to what? 6 x equal 1 is a word f of 1 this become 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 plus 6 this one equal what 2 minus 3 plus 6 this one equal also a means of 5 this one is also a positive value x equal 2 then f of 2 equal 16 minus 6 6 plus 6 sorry this one is a minus 6 otherwise you are able to find out the roots so this one is a minus 6 so this one is a minus 6 so this become minus 6 this one is a minus 6 and then this become what this become plus 6 so this become plus 6 so this one is a plus 6 so this become plus 6, so f of 0 this one is a negative means a minus 6, negative value. At x equal to 1, f of 1 become what? f of 1 become 2 minus 3 minus 6, this one is a what? 9, this one is a minus 7. At x equal to 2, f of 2 become 16 minus 6 and this one become minus 6 this one is a what? 12 so here one negative value and one positive value what is the meaning of uh, this one one root lie between 1 and 2 one root lie between 1 and 2 now what value we choose between 
1 and 2 as initial values. So for this one, what is the criteria for convergence? Criteria for convergence is about mod of r fx into f double dash x must be less than f dash x curve whole square. f dash x curve whole square. So what is the value for if we choose x equal to 0? x equal to 2, sorry. x equal to what is the value? 16, 8 to the 16, 6 minus 6, 12, 16 minus 12, this one is a 4. So 4 into 24, this one less than what? f dash x, f dash 2, what is the value of f dash 2? f dash 2, if we find the f dash 2, f dash 2, this one is a 6 into 4 minus 3, this one is a 24 minus 3, this one is a what? 21. So this one is a 21 ka square. So this condition is true. So we start our uh, our iteration with the initial value x equal to 2 in this iterative scheme. Now we start the our iterative scheme. Because at x equal to 2, the criteria for convergence satisfy at x equal to 2 for this iterative scheme, for this function. So we start from x0 equal to 2. So if n equal to 0, then what is the value of x1? x1 equal 4 plus 6 divided by 6 into 2 square minus 3. This one, 2 to the power 3 is a 8. This one is a 32 plus 6 divided by this one is a 21. So this one is a 38 divided by 21. So now, what is the value for x1? Now, I think this one is the correct value. So, 1.80954. Similarly, if you find the x2, x2 equal 4x1q plus 6 divided by 6x1 square minus 3. So, we put the value for x1 here. We put the value of x1 here, x1 here, then be able to find out the value of what? Then be able to find out the value of x2. x2 equal what? x2 equal uh, 4, x1 means uh, 1.80954, the whole cube, plus 6 divided by 6 x1 means 1.80954 chi square minus 3. If we simplify this one, already we noted down the value of this one 1.1.784 1 See, similarly, we find the value of x3, x4, x5, and so on. When we stop the this iteration, we stop this iteration, if we try to find out the root is correct up to a one decimal places, if the root is repeated up to a one decimal places in two successive iterations, then we stop this iteration. If uh, we try to find out the correct up to a three decimal places, if in a two successive iteration, if in a two successive iteration, if the uh, value of the power Values after decimal, uh, three decimal places repeated, then we stop this uh, iterative uh, procedure to find out the root correct up to a three decimal places. Here we write down the value of uh, x0, x0 is a 2, means uh, then the value of x1 is a 1.80954. Similarly, if we find the x2, then 1.78420, x3 equal 1.783769, x4 equal 1.783769. So here this one is a what? In a five uh, in a four iteration, in a four iteration, 
be able to find out the what? Be able to find out the root which one is a character to a five decimal places. So this one is a one algebraic equation. Uh, means uh, how we find the solution of algebraic equation with the help of a neutral option matrix. 